Hi, I'm Edward Current. You know, a lot of people are talking about airport security these days. And some people are even protesting the new TSA measures by opting out of the full body scanners and getting patted down instead. Now, all of this is just completely ridiculous. I mean, I can't even believe people get to make this choice. Who decided to allow potential terrorists to choose how they're going to go through security? I mean, did the victims of 9-11 get to choose how they were blown up? And so the scanners produce naked pictures of people. Big deal. Law-abiding terrorism suspects should be forced to stand in awkward stick em up poses and have their genitals photographed. Hey, if God had wanted us to go through security fully clothed, why the heck did he give us those scanners, huh? And while we're at it, I think that sex offenders should have their full body scans put up in the post office. That way, local kids would be able to recognize them by their private parts. No price is too high to pay for safety overall. Oh, and speaking of kids, I, I can't believe that anyone would be upset that three-year-olds are being invasively patted down. You know, this is a great opportunity for them to learn that sometimes getting touched inappropriately by a perfect stranger is totally appropriate. Good touch! Fortunately, airport security is getting better all the time. You see, the TSA sets its policies by waiting and seeing what dastardly deeds people try to do, and then it makes sure that never happens again. And it totally works. I mean, ever since you've had to take your shoes off or not bring shampoo on a plane for the rest of your life, has anyone tried to blow up their shoes or a shampoo bottle? <laughs> Didn't think so. Checkmate. Still, sometimes I gotta wonder. Do we really want to wait for the rectal cavity bomber to come along? Shouldn't we be checking for that kind of thing now? I think everybody, passengers, the folks who work at Cinnabon, even the pilots should have to bend over and spread their butt cheeks for a TSA flashlight. I'd like to see that. And what about when someone inevitably tries to hide a bomb inside a screaming baby? Shouldn't we be proactive and just ban screaming babies altogether from airplanes before anyone gets hurt? In closing, I just want to say, I can't understand why innocent soccer moms and Jewish retirees would object to having every crevice of their body rubbed and touched. That's what the police do to criminal suspects. How is this any different? And then some people say the system would actually work better if they used less invasive methods like bomb sniffing dogs or biometric identification. <sighs> Give me a break. Airport security isn't about being effective. It's about making Americans feel safer. And the only way that's going to happen is if the government puts on a big security show while reminding everyone of the terrible, terrible threats we face every time we fly. Because if Americans aren't terrified by the constant threat of terror, then the terrorists have won. I'm Edward Current. God bless America.